Hi guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tower Readings, Tower Readings from the Heart. Uh, today's reading is for the Zodiac Sign of Pisces. Pisces, really sorry that I'm coming so late with this video. I have had an extraordinarily busy month. I don't just do tarot readings, I do other things as well. So uh, things just kind of got really overbearing this month. So I'm coming back uh, tonight with your May 2015 reading. Pardon me because I haven't sort of uh, pre-planned the reading as I always do. I always pre-shuffle the cards and then kind of, um, you know, make sure that everything, I'm looking at stuff and you know, making sure that I'm covering all bases. And I'm doing the same thing with this reading, but it's so that I'm just doing it live at the moment, okay? And just seeing what the, gen you know, the general sort of theme is for the month. So as usual, I'm going to sort of shuffle the cards. Not sort of shuffle them, I'm shuffling the cards. Um, live on screen now. And I'm then going to pick eight cards out. Um, have a look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick the final card from the bottom of the deck just to see what the general theme is for the month for you guys. Okay, something's flipped out there. We've got Knight of Cups, so we're going to put that in the first position. Usually if something flips out, I just sort of put it in the first position. Some people will just put it at the top of the reading, but I, I generally don't do that. Carry on shuffling the cards. Okay, cards are shuffled. I'm just going to split them into three. Gather them all back up again. We're just going to count out two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take from the bottom of the pile, and that's going to be the card that's going to represent your general energy for May, Pisces. Let's have a look. Ooh, the fall. So the general energy is the fall for the month. Um, before I upturn the other cards, I'd like to see how everything fits in. I feel that there is a new beginning coming in for some of you guys. Whenever you get the full card, it's about kind of taking that leap of faith. It's about not being afraid to kind of um, do something new, do something daring. Um, it's about kind of being young again and feeling that kind of air of youth and sort of just going for things. So I feel that there is a new doorway opening um, up for some of you guys uh, Pisces I also f I mean this could be a new job it could be and it was interesting that we've got the Knight of Cups as your first card because this is about something being offered to you um, so I feel that this is something to do with an offer that's being made to you guys it could be anything let's see what unfolds within the reading but I definitely feel there's some form of a new beginning it might be that a case of that some of you guys um, are looking at sort of just going for something in May. Um, this is about a card for me about kind of motivation and not letting things get in your way and not kind of being um, consumed by other people's thoughts but kind of just going on your own track. Sometimes the fall can be a not so great card especially if you're not looking into the detail of something but we're going to see how it unfolds. I do definitely feel for you some of you Pisces in, um, in May that there is a new beginning coming up for you. So as I've shown you we've got the Knight of Cups first position here Oh, the Five of Wands here. Okay, that's interesting. The Two of Cups. Oh, the Lovers. Okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. That this is a very strong, very strong two of cups and the lovers there's definitely love in the air there as far as I'm concerned definitely two very strong love cards right there so this is about some sort of partnership I feel um, what else have we got oh the tower okay the queen of wands 
the strength card. Oh, and the five of swords. Okay, okay, right. Let's analyse the cards. Let's see what we can see. So I said the general energy was about a new beginning. Okay, and it's really funny when you turn up the other cards, it's almost like they can put a different spin on things. And I feel that there is a different spin on something here with these cards. Because I do feel that um, in May, and it could be even going on from now, that um, you guys potentially may be wanting to get out of something. This is what I'm feeling here. And I feel that there is the opportunity to do that because I do see the five of ones that there has been some disagreements going on here. And I feel that you are either awaiting an offer in order to kind of um, set you free from a situation. This is what I'm feeling. And I'm feeling it really strongly because we do have this five of swords here as well, which shows that there is some kind of difficulty going on and the strength card as well you're having to kind of stay strong around a situation this is what I'm feeling and that's why I feel that you're looking for a new beginning in May you're looking for something different you're looking to kind of take a leap out of um, something that is not serving you so it's either I feel a case of that you're awaiting an offer to come in and I feel that this is a work situation potentially maybe because it, and it's really funny with love, I mean, I know I said at the beginning, oh, it's love and all this stuff, but sometimes when you get things like the Two of Cups and the Lovers, it doesn't have to be strictly love, especially when you get a reading like this. Um, I feel that there is a breakdown um, around a situation. It could have already happened for some of you guys, but I feel that this is coming in May. Um, I feel that there is a structure that is falling apart, and I feel that it's through a disagreement that is happening, Okay. But I do feel that you're being offered a way out. And it could be that you're offered, being offered a partnership or you're being um, offered, a you know, there's a negotiation going on and you're looking to kind of um, make a choice on this maybe. And the Two of Cups is, at the heart of it, it is a love card, but it's also about partnership. It's about negotiation. It's about the coming together. It's about signing contracts. It's about people being on the same page. So I do feel, looking at these cards for you guys, that um, you're looking for someone to break up this disagreement. And I feel that's why we've got the Knight of Cups facing the Five of Wands. Because it's almost like he's riding in um, to these five people all fighting. They're all kind of disagreeing over something. But I feel that there is like someone riding in. And it's funny because the ones of fire and the cups represent water. And when you pour water on fire, it generally disperses. It goes. It um, extinguishes it. Okay? So it's almost like somebody is riding in with a cup to extinguish this fire. This is what I'm feeling here. I feel that there is a situation for uh, some of you Pisces people where um, there is an argument going on for some of you guys. And I feel that it might be within the workplace, potentially. Okay? Because we do have these ones cards. And ones cards, they yes, they are all about your vision. They're all about your creativity. They're all about your passion. But they're also about career and work. Okay? And whenever I get this queen of wands, it does signify for me a career or workplace. Okay, so I do feel, because we have this five of wands, there's an argument going on. There is um, a disagreement. There is a battle of wills. That people aren't gelling. People are kind of um, at different ends of the spectrum about stuff. Everybody's trying to prove that they're right. They're trying to prove that they are the correct person. Okay, they're trying to prove that they have the correct viewpoint. They're trying to be the winner. Okay, they're all clanging these ones up into the air, but nobody is kind of breaking free. It's just one big mess. But I feel that either with the Knight of Cups, you're awaiting an offer that's going to get you out of this situation. So you're looking to extinguish the fire that way. Or it could be someone who's trying to help you out here, who's trying to extinguish or trying to break the fight apart. They're trying to offer that cup of peace.
this is how I feel about this reading. But I feel because we've got the full card at the top of the reading, and this is kind of, um, this is the card that does signify new beginnings and just being brave, okay? Being brave and kind of just getting your shit together and saying, you know what? I'm just going to go for it because it's now or never. And I can't be afraid. I can't be afraid anymore. I've got to be like a little kid who wants to kind of go out and explore and not being afraid of stuff, okay? So I've got to be that person who is no longer afraid of what's around the corner. I need to just go and do it. I do feel that it's either a case of some of you guys are waiting on an offer to get out of something that you're in, to break something up. So you're looking for maybe a, a job offer or something that's going to relieve the tension of where you are at the moment, okay? You are looking to move on. This is what I feel within this reading. I feel it's to do with a negotiation, potentially, because we do have this Two of Cups here. Alternatively, I feel that maybe some of you have got love coming in for me because we do have the Two of Cups and we do have the Lovers card, which to me means a very strong attraction is happening for you guys. Very strong. If it's love coming in, it's going to be very, very strong, I feel. Because the lover's card is the sexier version, as far as I'm concerned, of the two of cups. The lover's card is all about passion and really strong attraction and real kind of being connected. But then so is the two of cups. The two of cups is about being connected as well. But in a far more kind of um, emotional sense rather than sexual sense, if you see where I'm coming from. But this could also be about laying yourself bare as well, opening up, okay? So maybe this new beginning that you're looking for is going to expose you as a person, this new negotiation, this new connection that you're making. I feel that you are making a new connection within May, and it could be to do with this new offer that comes in as well, okay? There are various ways that we can explain these cards, but I feel that there is a new connection coming in. It's a very strong connection, but you may be having, be having to lay yourself bare you know, it might be something that you're, you haven't considered before or, or you, you looked at and you thought, oh, I don't really know whether I could do that, okay? And now you're just kind of like, you know what, oh, to hell with it. I'm just going to do it because I want to get out of this situation that I'm in at the moment. There is the ending, I feel, of something, the breaking apart of a structure. And I feel that this is to do around some infighting within the workplace. I do feel this. It's funny because with the Five of Swords, usually... Um, I would often explain this card to be about somebody's taking advantage of a situation, okay? And it could be that within the Five of Swords and between the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands, the Fives within the Tarot are never really very good cards. They're always about somebody being at a disadvantage, I think. This is what I feel within the Five of Pentacles. It's about people losing out on money. Five of Wands, it's about people disagreeing. Five of Swords, it's about somebody winning out over somebody else. Five of Cups, it's about loss. So all of these cards are, do have, the fives do have very negative connotations to them, unfortunately. But I do feel that within this reading, with this Five of Swords, I feel that it's you guys that are going to be winning out over a situation. You know, the situation I feel um, that you're going to be stepping into in May doesn't come without its price. This is what I'm feeling here. I feel that you are going to be feeling exposed in something new, in this new connection, okay? This is what I'm feeling. If this isn't love coming in for you guys in May, then I feel that it's, it's, it's a new connection that you're making and you're going to be exposed to it. It's going to be a great experience, but it's going to be something new and a little bit scary, I feel, coming in. And I do feel it's potentially around the workplace for you guys. It's a really interesting reading. I love it when I get readings like this because I get really, really excited by them, by what I'm looking at here. I really do. I really, really do. I feel that if you're a woman, okay, and if we were to just look at the Two of Cups and the Lover's Card and the Strength Card, this can mean very, very strong sexual energy. And maybe you guys being in charge, you guys being in, in control as a female, you know, sexually within a relationship. Because the Strength Card can also be about, as a female, being sexually um, in charge, being kind of... Um, the person who's ahead of the game, if you see what I mean, within a relationship, and the person who is kind of definitely um, in control of everything. But I do feel that you're going to be taking back your control on the whole within, within May. I really feel that because we've got this strength card and somebody's taming a beast. 
someone is tailing someone that or something a situation that wanted to hurt them if I see a lion I feel that that lion wants to hurt me if I go up and close that lion's mouth it means that I am in control of the lion I am in control of that situation I am in control of that fear I am in control of that person that wanted to hurt me or that situation that wasn't making me feel very good I'm no longer afraid of it and I feel that because we have the five of swords this signifies you guys you're winning out over someone or something or a situation that wasn't very good for you this is what I'm really feeling here so this is to me this is a very strong reading very strong okay if I was to read it like a storybook I would say that you're gonna be just doing something different in May okay something that's going to expose you make you feel a bit bare a little bit nervy but it's all good because we do have this two of cups and we do have the lovers card next door to it you know so I do feel there is a strong very strong connection happening I feel there is a very strong negotiation happening for some of you guys within May but I feel that this has come about as uh, something that has been so I'm sorry something that has been happening lately and that is a fight that is a problem within the workplace potentially could be within your family home you interpret it how you want to interpret it but I see a fight here but I see someone coming in to extinguish that fight so an offer being made that's going to get you out of there I see the crumbling down of something something ending something that was once strong now sort of falling apart with the tower the ending of something but I feel that it's something that you have initiated and something very much that you want to happen because we have this Queen of Wands card here to me this signifies potentially the workplace fighting within the workplace maybe but the ending of that so funny how we have a water sign and fire sign here the water sign is behind is beside it's be is before the fire so it means and the cup is being held before the fire before the five so it just means that somebody is coming in to me to me it seems that someone is coming in to extinguish that problem to get rid of it obliterate it we do have happiness here with the two of cups and the lovers card connection negotiation you're gonna to need to be strong here you are being strong you are facing your fears I feel that some of you are facing up to a bully or facing up to bullies maybe within the workplace you're facing up to them now and you're defeating them and I feel that you're defeating them by kind of taking that leap of faith and getting yourself the hell out of there and saying I've had enough this is what it feels like to me this reading very very strong for you guys very strong so that's what I feel is happening for you guys in May I do see in, in something new coming in definitely this is the energy for May there is a new beginning but this new beginning is off your own volition you've, it feels like to me that you've had enough of something you are kind of done with it and you're turning the corner on something this is what it feels like for me here Pisces so yeah Pisces this is what I'm seeing for May that's your reading guys so I'm saying thank you very very much for taking the time to join me and I will see you guys very very soon take care